Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. All that good jazz and stuff like that, right? Uh, a little tired, but I'm awake. I'm here. As you guys see, I'm all merched out in our Dragon Blogger merch today. Uh, we'll let some people roll in before we get going. I know it's a little uh, early uh, or a little late today for our normal stream. So we'll get to that. We'll start hanging out and doing some stuff. Uh, hey, Ricky. Good morning, man. Um, Like normal guys, I chat right now until I get another monitor is a little phone. So I may or may not miss some people chatting or, you know, stuff like that. But all that good jazz. Uh, hopefully you guys had a great start to your weekend. I was up super late last night working on my car. Had fun. Made a lot of progress. Happy with the progression that we're going with with my car. And all that good stuff, guys. But today is all about deal stream. Uh, Justin is around. I'm sure he'll be popping in from time to time. He's going to be super busy today. So today we're only doing deal stream. We're not actually going to roll into co op afterwards. So just deal stream today, unfortunately. And hopefully everybody's having a great, great weekend. Again, guys, make sure to enter to win uh, our competition for. The Xbox, of course, uh, we are giving away an Xbox or a $500 gift card, your choice. You know, if you don't really want that Xbox, you get 500 bucks. I could go, uh, you know, a couple tanks of gas. <laughs> yeah, something like that, right? So, guys, we'll just wait a few more minutes before we get going on this deal stream. Uh, we are going to be showcasing the Tolco massage gun uh nate did this one so we're going to showcase it as we go and wait until we see a few more people in here i know it's a it seems like a weird day already i mean i'm running on lack of sleep though lack of sleep hurt foot you know all that good stuff and i got like 30 products here that i gotta do uh videos for great all right, guys, we're going to start off with the Tolko Massage Gun. Guys, this is around $85. I do not know if there is a coupon code. There probably is a $35 coupon code for this, guys. So we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys this little video of this. Nate beautiful, did this. Beautiful, so beautiful. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. This right open. Ooh. Okay. So... Right off the rip, you guys can see you get a little nice carrying case with it. It's got this cool texture. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear that because really I cannot. Uh, double zippers. Uh, so, if you guys like to zip things up in unique ways, you um, can definitely do that. That was on my end. That's why I couldn't hear it. Let's see what actually comes with it on the inside. So, as I open it up, you're going to notice here in the top instruction manual, we don't really need that. These things aren't too hard to use. Uh, a bunch of attachment heads, just like right off the bat, you got your charger here, and you have a bunch of attachment heads. We'll take out the machine itself. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about products, this please is, ask, this is guys. The Fit King doesn't have that, would be really good for like back muscles, I imagine. We are going to use that one now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and just kind of toss the carrying case for a little bit, and we will unwrap. Ooh. That is super nice, guys. Oh, hey, that, good morning, that Evans. That is so cool. Check this out. Look at that pattern, Happy weekend. Guys. It's like carbon fiber, but it's also like dragon scale, the way the like the pattern is. That's super yeah, nice. Yeah, it's almost like a chain mail pattern. On, here. on the bottom, you have your power switch. Very similar to how a lot of these work. And also, this this pattern up here, it had... It almost has like a sticky grip, not like actually sticky, but just a nice firm grip to it. And the soft touch material is super, super soft. I imagine this is going to be very simple to install the heads. All you have to do is just kind well, of at least I'm seeing in, part of chat on my phone. Good to go. So let's go ahead and turn it on now. All right. So I flip the power switch on. You can see you have the green light indicator on the bottom and we have nothing up here. So I imagine what you have to do now is just kind of hold this down. Oh, and it comes on immediately. Look at that screen. I've never seen a screen look look at that. 
that screen it looks super sweet wow that's that's super cool it even shows you the battery life as you guys uh, we can go guys level, how long it's been running and i imagine you can just control it by hitting these so there is no um setting all you have to do is just turn it on and it automatically comes on and as you guys can see here i mean it's going but as you guys can see here it's definitely going we're going to increase the speed and see how that reflects on the screen so it really doesn't have a lot of different modes it has about five speed settings i believe so this is the lowest setting and then you right, who's making breakfast one, for everybody or that's second anybody three breakfast four, breakfast anybody come on four we're speed settings. Over here. now they do differ pretty greatly i mean like they increase the speed dramatically i'm not gonna put that on something good morning like justin speed but i'll go ahead and test it out as you guys see oh, yeah, i'm all merged really out strong. of course Even guys on, like, we have all the dragon ball stuff the way and if you guys haven't mind. seen well, you guys can't that hat it, came out just mind. beautiful right, Full blast i love it the stitching is phenomenal the logo oh is perfect gosh. it's just crazy that thing is incredible yeah it's just wow. perfect the tom 63 guys this thing insane so much power yeah guys this uh toko massage gun does have 35 dollar clippable coupon so remember that massage guns and it seems like even on the highest settings when you push in the motor isn't strong enough to push back against so, you, so it drops it down it even down. more uh, from 85 down to like 50 this doesn't slow down at all uh, oh man i hate not having chat like tom 63 yeah if you guys have been looking for a really awesome cool designed uh strong massage gun definitely check out the tom 63 so that is cool. the toko guys that is a good massage gun now i'm gonna pop over to this camera real quick showcase this one more time our new hats just came out perfect I love it. You know, I even got the shirt on today. I, I got all dragon bloggered up. But great little shirt. Guys, that was the Toko Massage Gun. Great little massage gun. You guys see Nate did that. But there is a clippable coupon. If you guys need a clippable coupon for it, it'll drop it down. Make it even cheaper for you. Ah, yeah, yeah, Evans. Just awesome, sh awesome merch. All right, we're going to move on to the Sony 88 or Sony A80J. Uh, 65 inch TV. Justin did. Uh, little little sleepy still, guys. Brain's not working functionally. But this TV is just a phenomenal TV that Justin has on hand. Now we're gonna talk about this TV a little bit. This TV is an OLED XR TV configuration, guys. This is a Dolby television. It has 4K. It is Alexa compatible. It is a full functioning smart TV now one of the best parts about this TV is that it will auto detect your source it'll auto detect what you're playing and it should change to the settings to the perfect settings for like what you're using kind of like the PS5 Justin's been playing Horizon Zero Dawn and I'm sure that it just is killer looking now, hopefully, at some point, Justin will get us I'm that clip of the game. The Bravia A80J TV. That started playing without me. But at some point, he'll get us the clip of that gameplay on that TV, and you guys will get to see that. I've seen the Bravia A80J TV from Sony with the Black Widow movie on Disney Plus, showing you the different picture mode settings and how the different colorations look between oh. standard, cinema, and vivid mode. Obviously, with vivid, it shows a lot more color. With cinema, it's much more kind of like dim, less. Now, does this colors, auto detect the, we'll the picture quality, the Justin? Itself, how it actually makes a difference while you're watching the movie. Now, if you want, you can manually adjust the color and hue, the temperature. Cool. You can because do mine does too. Like when I switch over to a movie, now, you don't really or need switch to. over to a game, it will switch the color pattern, box, but you which can is really cool. The color as you need to, and set those profiles. So we'll go ahead and just show you a little bit of the Black Widow movie, which again is an excellent movie, um, worth getting and having an added to your Marvel MCU collection. Just skipping around here, I want to get to some action sequences where I can showcase how the color in the picture clearly look because I want you to see the difference clearly between the different picture modes 
So this looks like a good point here. So where she fights Taskmaster the first time. So we go into your settings. You want the picture settings. You can see the way the TV looks right now. Let's show you the different modes. This is what standard looks like. You can see the color pops out. Vivid is almost too too much color, right? It's then standard looks good. Cinema, I think it looks a little better. And then of course you could switch it to game if you're playing a game or graphics mode. But ideally I like standard or cinema when I'm watching an action movie like Black Widow. So. This is just a brief demonstration of the picture modes for the Sony Bravia A80J. Absolutely yeah, this is a little higher TV. side of a TV, TV, guys, but it is a right very nice TV this nonetheless. From the PlayStation 5, and this is I, honestly, it's a sweet TV. On PlayStation 5 on the Sony Bravia A80J TV. Yep, yep. Well, now we need some gameplay clips, Justin. Gameplay clips off that TV. That's what we need to see, buddy. Just saying. <laughs> Now, guys, uh, if you guys seen some of my projector videos, we will be redoing those videos for you just so everybody knows. I have a new projection screen coming so we re can, can redo all of that videos and make it look even better. Now, we're going to move on to the EF Echo Flow River, guys. We are actually giving one of these away. I believe there's a few days left to enter. I will have Justin post the link for this uh product that we are giving away but we're going to showcase it nonetheless also now if i will switch over to this play this for you guys hey, what's going on guys my name is nathaniel with dragon blogger tech and entertainment but Today, remember we are giving one away case to you guys the eco flow river portable power station this thing is an absolute beast of a machine so let's go ahead and jump right in and get in today's video like I said, the yeah. Eco Flow River is an absolute machine. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what it comes with. Hey, but we are giving one away. Have a USB C 100 watt charger. Is it really? USBAs and a USB. That's crazy. Charge. On the right side, you're going to have three. Dude, it's 249 right now. This that is, is crazy, crazy. Ways. So your standard wall outlet. Uh, is, is there a clippable coupon? Check. That will charge a little bit. Slower. Sometimes there's a clippable also coupon the on the page also. Volt AC outlet. Which will allow you to charge it in your car or power things. But at 249, that's a steal. That it has a built yeah, 249 is still a steal, man. Settings, just a to have that backup ba presence. power is and just crazy. Also emit SOS and Morse code, which I think is a super awesome built in feature that they didn't have to add, but they went ahead and did it anyways. All right, guys, so we went ahead and gave you a brief rundown of the EcoFlow River portable power station. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more detailed for those of you that are interested. So here in the front, you have your simple LED screen that will tell you the amount of hours that you have charging, and it will reflect on based on what you're charging. So right now, nothing's plugged in. This thing says it's good for 99 hours. If we turn it, well, on, hey, hey either buttons, one's a great deal. Here that we have 79 hours. Dude, both of those products are a phenomenal price, guys. If we switch it, if you need backup power, so these are the products to get. Charge. I mean, so Nate is actually used. Um, uh, I want to say a blender or a mixer on this, and it'll actually power that. It'll power a fridge, guys, if you really need the. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's, don't plug a full fridge in. It's not going to have the plug in, but it will have, you know, for like the mini fridges and stuff like that, it will work there. Haley, thank you for the follow. We really, really appreciate that. Now, again, guys, we do have a few giveaways going on. One is for the EF Echo Flow Mini, and second is for the Xbox X giveaway or $500 gift card. So make sure to enter those guys. And it reflects here on the screen telling you that that is And if you need the code for the Xbox, guys, it is Stone Dragon. Today's code is Stone Dragon. Um, tomorrow we will have a new code for the new week. But today is Stone Dragon. To enable those, you have to have this little power switch on. So let's go ahead and turn that on and off, and we'll switch back to the front. And, and for all those watching, good morning, happy weekend, and all that good stuff, guys. Power, which is absolutely freaking insane for something that you can simply just carry around in your hand. When we turn that off, that little symbol went away. So now we're going to go ahead and switch to the back side over here, opposite of the AC controllers. We're going to go ahead and zoom in, get it focused, and as you can see right here, 
we have all of the different charging options as well as an outtake vent because this thing does run pretty warm so I would definitely keep that in a nice ventilated area. You're going to have your 100 to 120 DAC, 50 hertz to 60 hertz only. You're going to have your reset button if anything goes wrong and then you're going to have your 12 amp charger right here on the left side and a screw to access that panel if need be. On the back here, you're going to notice that there is nothing here. This is just a nice little design on the back with that nice EF EcoFlow symbol and as well as a two-tone, which is kind of a black and lighter black design. Super clean design in my opinion. I really like what they did with it here on the back. So kudos to you guys. Uh, hopefully I muted that quick enough. Charge with my iPhone. It's at about 50%. So we're going to go ahead and charge <laughs> Don't know where that cough came from. Connection on 29% to see how long it takes to charge uh, my iPhone and how much we have left. Could be the allergies. But while we're waiting for that, let's go over everything that comes with this. So you're going to get a DC charging cable that will allow you to connect solar panels that are sold. That's cool. If you're interested in that, then we're going to go ahead and switch on. We're also going to have a DC power outlet to charge this unit with your vehicle, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to here. We're also going to have more DC connectors that will just further allow you to charge multiple and different things. You're going to have your standard AC charger as well, so you can plug this in straight into a wall or a power strip or anything like that. And then taking a look right here, we're going to have instructions for how to connect the solar panels if that is an option you went with. And then we are also going hey, to have thanks for the follow. the flow user manual that will help you out if you Ooh, have any issues. truly also, appreciate it, guys. Charging, let's go ahead and check out the app. So we got it connected already. Connected Crazy, to it's got an app. Inside of the app, you're going to have a ton of features. You can see the total amount of charge that is left and what is currently going on in this app. You can see the output currently is at 13 watts, which is really awesome. If you had something connected to the AC outputs, you could see the power hey, good morning. that. You have options to turn on and off the Hopefully light. you're having a great you Saturday. Turn on and off the 12 volt DC power. And you also have a little quick view of all the USB charging ports right here. So there's definitely a lot of options inside of the app. Taking a look here, you can rename the oh, current model that you're working allergies. with. Allergies. Charge level. Oof. You can see your DC mode, AC mode. Either you that or I was working with too much wood last night. In this app that you can set. So I highly recommend using the app. It adds a ton of functionality. So definitely download this app and get your device connected. All right, guys. So we're back and my phone is pretty much all the way charged. It charged up to 98% and the battery life on the EcoFlow only dropped to 24% and it took about an hour. So now one thing that I've been super excited to test is I want to plug in my blender to see how well this thing handles a higher current. So this is what it'll do so with the blender, guys. Here we have my blender plugged into the EcoFlow. We have AC power turned on, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Warning now, he should have made a milkshake, blended up some fruits and vegetables, and all that good stuff. As you guys see down there, the power will drop, but it is working well. And as you guys could see there, it completely powered my blender and it could have powered it for 14 minutes. That is awesome. And now that's 14 minutes at the charge right, headset. So that was a quick rundown on the EcoFlow River portable power station. This thing is an absolute unit. I actually really like the design on it. I like the black textures that they put across it, the silver here on top. This thing can power anything. I mean, this thing is an absolute freaking machine. If you guys have been looking to go on a camping trip or you guys have an RV, I recommend this for so many reasons, even emergencies. This thing has a ton of power, as you can see, it just... So now, guys, that is the F EcoFlow River. Now, we are giving away the Mini. We do have a giveaway going on for the Mini, so make sure to enter that like usual, guys. Now, the next product we're going to move over is from Lammy Call. Lammy Call makes a good, decent product. Now, I'm going to actually show, show you guys this. This is actually a cell phone holder. Now, I am actually using this right now for chat, which is just, you know, pretty cool. Guys, you can use it for chat. I mean, it works great. And I'm going to set my chat down real quick. Now, this does come apart. If you need it to come apart, it breaks apart or put it back together. It has a nice rubber grip on the back plus little rubber grips here. Now, it does swivel and move in different directions if that's what you need. It also has a push button to help slide it up. 
or down. It is height adjustable. Now, the one thing I will do, and I'm going to grab this real quick and show you guys this, because I tested this yesterday. It was blown away. So, let's say you want to use it for more than just a phone. Let's say a tablet. You can actually put a tablet in this, guys, and it will hold the tablet no problem. I have no problems with the tablet in there. You guys, it literally, you can set it either direction. The tablet will sit there. It'll hold it right on the desk. No issues. It does not swivel. It does not come unbalanced. It will actually work with the tablet also. Now, it is built for cell phones. But if you have a tablet, it will hold it, and that's a great thing. Nice, sturdy plastic design with a nice little hefty base. And on the bottom of the base is actually it's fully rubberized so it like it grips to everything and that's the cool part about this and i did not realize that until yesterday that it was fully rubberized on the bottom not only does it have foot pads but the whole bottom right here is full rubber so like on my desk when i set it on my desk it like almost suctions down and it does not want to move and that's actually really great design to have built in that so this is actually the lammy call cell phone stand guys great little product if you need one i've actually been using this for the last few days for streams because i have no second window chat i'm using a little phone for chat right now and it works great guys any questions about the product please ask and i will try and answer i am actually blown away it will hold a, a tablet you know and that is justin in chat now that i can see uh chat over there now we're going to move on to a product that I actually did. And this is from Fantic or Fantique. This is their T8 Apex 2000 amp jump starter, guys. Now this is coming in like $84 right now, which is like really, really great price. And we're going to play this little video for you once I swap scenes. Oh, why is that? Wow, James that was here. Great. Today with a quick unboxing. Everything got unadjusted. This is from Fantique. This is their T8 Apex. This is a 20,000 milliamp power bank. But this is not just a power bank. This is a, you know, like a car jump starter. You can jump your battery with this. You can, you know, it'll jump cars up to 8.5 liters for gas and 6 liter for diesel engines. So it can jump a pretty big vehicle very easily. Now this has a 65 watt fast charger it'll charge hey, Jimmy. Good morning, half, buddy. two hours guys and How you doing, it'll buddy? stand by for about 24 months so if you're on a full charge you'll have about 24 months standby hey, charge good it'll morning hold that charge that is very very decent it also has a three inch lcd screen how's everybody's day so going read the battery output if it has an error start on out you know, and all that good stuff. Now, like I said, it does that. have the jumper cables for this to jump start your car. This is uh, please monitor portable the Leopow. This is a nine. I believe that's what you're talking Leo about. Flame retardant. So it's a f kind of flame retardant, flame resistant. This will work in weather conditions from minus four to 140 degree Fahrenheit, which is very decent. But if you're like me, it hits minus four. It's very easy. Now we're gonna here. jump so, forward, guys, to show me. you guys this. Opened, opened up and more to it. We'll pull that out. I, I definitely I believe that's what inside they want. Is another box. So we have a box inside of a box. So the plain box right here, guys. Uh, the um, screen just went black. And then you have this very phenomenal black box with their ghost kind of ghost ridged lid. Uh, on. After this Fantastic product, if you really want to see it, I can this jump ahead. That won't be a problem. Nice looking. I'm actually shocked at the look at this box, guys. You can see this. Shows you everything you need. They're very proud of their name. 20,000 milliamp. Yeah, we can kind of talk about this. 65 watt. Since I actually have this product and I did this product, we can kind of talk about this. This product is a beast of a product. I've actually used this a couple times to help a couple friends out, guys. It From full charge, it will actually jump start any, any car that I've actually had to jump start so far without having to press the power button. If you press the power button, it'll actually give you a more powerful jump, which is very cool. It comes with a very cool carrying case. It comes with all the products, the jumper cables you need, and the charging station. Guys, if you just need to like charge, let's say, your phone off it or something, 
you definitely can do that also. Now with the 2000 amp or the 20,000 milliamp uh, battery that's built in, it will last a while and it has a good standby time. So if you charge this and don't need to use this, you definitely can leave it for, I mean, a good 12 to 13 months without having to recharge it should be no problem. Now this product is actually a beast of a jump starter if that's what you're using it for. Now that's what its main purpose is, but it can do multiple of other things and it comes with a, the full kit. We can actually jump over and we'll kind of show you guys the page and stuff. So as you guys see, this is what they show you as the product. The product is really, really great. It's definitely worth its weight in gold. I mean, guys, if you need to jumpstart a car and you need to do it quick, this will do it. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, in a pinch or if you guys are out camping or out on a drive, this will actually help you do it. Now, it has a 65 watt two-way fast charging, as you guys can see there. So you can charge both ways. If you need to charge a device out of it, you can do that. Or if you need to charge the device itself, the same plug goes both directions. It has the smart chip, has LED lights, and all that good stuff. If you guys need something and it's like $84 today, I highly recommend this product. Now, uh, we had somebody request the Leopo portable monitor. Now, I'm going to jump over to here. We'll actually showcase this monitor up for you guys, right? We do have a video for it. Uh, I will pop over to the video, but we will talk about this monitor. If I can find it, where did I put it? Uh, why do I not have the video? I think I oh there it is. So the Leopo, we'll actually show a video in a minute, but I'll talk about it first. This monitor worked well for what I was using it for. Had multiple purses. Uh, you know what, guys? Give me one second. Let me grab it. So, Lee Pow. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I actually have this, so we're gonna hop over. This is the monitor itself. This is the power plug, right? If you need this. Now you can unplug this power brick. I had it on a power brick. You can power it by USB straight off another device. This thing works great. It's actually quite bright and it, 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 it served its function until I broke it myself. Now, if most of you guys know the story, I redid my computer desk the other day. This fell off the stand and it dropped and, you know, my fault, I broke it. But this thing worked great for the last year and a half or so that I've been using it. Now, you have power plugs on both sides. You have USB-C. Then you have your HDMI, which is a mini HDMI. Then you, on the other side, you have another USB-C. You also have your volume knob. You have your power button or menu button, guys. This USB-C can power this device. Or you can plug it in on this side to this USB-C, USB and it will still power the device, right? Uh, you know, I did not try to break it. The actual bracket broke, and I tried to catch it quick enough, and it did not happen. So if you're going to use it like in regular mode like this, you'll have either cords coming out of one side or cords coming out of the other side, right? If you want it to work like this, you have a problem. You have to pick a direction where the cords are going to come out. Well, you know, you'll have to pretty much set it like this. It won't set straight down because you have a volume knob here. So what do you do? You get a, you get a uh, different device to hold it like I did. It was a good bracket, lasted a while. But this thing is super bright, works well. You can go in, you know, you can go landscape mode, you can go in portrait mode, whatever direction you want. Very light, very easy to handle, guys, if you need a portable device. Now, I'm going to show you guys the video of this product now and kind of show you guys it in action before I did my bonehead move to it, right? So, 15.6 inch portable monitor 
Yeah, this monitor I have this. not even taken the screen protector off. I'm, yeah, I don't understand this? why the bracket broke, but Which the little plastic right on the ball of the the monitor bracket broke. There is and it broke weird. That it comes with. You know, we don't really need that now. We're going to flop that aside. So, now like I said, we're going to show you guys how to use this. But, I'm going to show you how to connect it up using the um. You know, something that connects to this. And that will be the Nintendo Switch, the box. You know, I'm gonna actually use the console piece, you know. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take these controllers off. We're gonna set this back in. We're gonna set our controllers in the device so we have it ready. I'm gonna set that aside. So to do this, you're going to need the, the supplied HDMI to mini HDMI cord. Now, Leopo does throw, the, or Lipo uh, throws this in, or Lipo, however you pronounce it, I apologize. Throws this in the kit, so you do yeah, have this, you also have a USB-C to C. La pow, Plus, you're going to have pow. the power cord. So I'm going to set this aside for a second. We are going to unattach the wire tie. We are going to take this short cord. It's not really long. So you may have issues of plugging this in or what you're going to use this on. I brought over an extension cord. So right, let me mention something right there. So what I could have done in this video different is I could have actually have connected that USB plug from that monitor to the actual USB port on the Nintendo Switch, which is just a power port. I could have used that to power the Leopo or Lapau monitor if I needed to. It would actually put out enough power to do that because it doesn't take a lot of power to run this monitor. But then, of course, Lapau includes the mini HDMI to HDMI cable. It includes the USB-C charging cable if you guys need all that. It also includes the foldable... Uh, you guys to see the little foldable magnetic stand it actually includes that also so it's actually a great little kit now we're going to jump over choose let's just yeah, jump just to like the that. game we're going to take the and other show side, you guys it in action pop open the back and we are going to plug it into the hdmi port right here and then we're going to take the power cord because we're going to need power Plug in your power cord. I need breakfast. I am see, so running on slack to slack asleep. And there you guys go. You see it lit up. You guys, and see? it's actually quite bright. It's this vibrant. It's lit up. And there's is no on. issues with playing this. It actually is very bright, very colorful. Hopefully, you guys can see this. I'm going to pull you guys in. Ignore my breathing. I was sick when I did this video. You guys will see it's actually a mess. <laughs> I don't have a really good stand. It comes with the stand. Now, it has a speaker on the side. At least that's what they claim. It's not that loud. Well, why don't you move over to a... You have an on-screen display for this, brightness, contrast, signal source, you know, usually the normal stuff. So, we're going to turn the volume up. So you guys can see this, with the volume on. And someone should tell that guy to put breathing into the microphone. <laughs> a Nintendo game. If we can get my controller to work, guys. There we go. My controller is acting up, and I apologize. I'm going to fix this real quick. All right. So what you see is I had to get a different controller. Look, there's a new game, Donkey Kong Country. Let's play this. Let's test this out. I mean, I haven't touched my Nintendo Switch in a while. So this will be a, a first while. little test. <laughs> You guys will see what I see.
One player. Here we go. Now, as you guys see, you can play it. There's really no Here lag in the, the gameplay and all well, that. It's actually quite feet. vibrant. It works well. It's a decent portable monitor. If you guys need a portable monitor, or if you guys like me need just a second monitor for chat, but don't need a full monitor or like a large monitor, this will work there also. Now, the cool thing is, is this will actually connect up to like laptops that have HDMI ports or many HDMI ports. It will connect up to almost all types of products. As you guys see, we have the Nintendo Switch here hooked up. I actually tested this with the Xbox. It worked with the Xbox. It's a very decent product. If you have any questions about that, please ask. We will try to answer. Now, guys, we're going to be moving on to another product. This is from Fine King. This is their aided chef knife. Ah, good morning, Haley. I believe I just saw that name properly. We are going to be using the Fine King Dynasty Series chef knife to cut this apple. It's another insanely sharp knife, so this will go well. Right through the core. Ah, uh -uh. somebody's got bad knife handling skills. We need to talk to that boy. <laughs> Hey, busy. Good morning, buddy. How you doing, man? Hey, guys, again, make sure to enter our giveaways. We do have multiple giveaways going on. We are giving away an Xbox X, our $500 gift card. Uh, we do have the code for the week, and that is Stone Dragon. If you guys need the code for that, uh, we will actually give that out. We also have a giveaway going on for an EF Echo Flow Mini. If you guys want to enter that one, we also have an Obsbot ME uh, camera, which is a great little camera. If you guys need something for that, we're giving one of those away. So that is the Fine King Dynasty Chef Knife. Now, this Fine King Dynasty Chef Knife is a very, very nice knife. It is a hand hammered style steel. It is a. Um, it has an octagon handled uh, knife uh, handle, which is very cool. It's a little different. Now, the sharpness edge is, I believe, at like a 14 degree sharpening angle, which is very nice. It's razor like sharp. The, uh, so a few other cool things is it is hand hammered. It is uh, cold sh uh, steel style. It is, I believe, about 8 inch chef knife, but with the handle, it should be almost approximately like 12 inches. Now, since I did not technically have full hands-on with this knife, I can't go into full detail. But I do know it is made from a high-carbon steel of a 90 CR18 18 steel, which is a, a nice nice mixture. It has chromium, magnesium, sulfur, and uh, molybdenum, I believe it's called. Uh, so, a nice steel to make a knife out of. Any questions about that knife, guys? Please ask, I will try and answer. If not, we're gonna move on to the next little product and I believe this next product is an XLR microphone and I believe it's from Toner. Um, this is gonna be one either me or Nate did. I believe I probably have uh, this one also somewhere in my uh, closet. So we're gonna show you guys this. This should be the Toner TC20 microphone. So Very good microphone. This entire set right here, it's going to come with this boom arm. It's going to come with a cable to plug it in. It's going to come with a shock mount. It's going to come with a pop filters, so it just allows it to not have um, allows it to not have wind going through it. And you also get a mic sock right here. Um, so one of the coolest things about this mic, I didn't know when they sent it. Um, I didn't know they were sending it at all, actually, but. Tonor usually makes USB microphones, 
this TC20 is actually a condenser uh, microphone, but it uses um, that standard audio port right here. So this is a non-USB, so you actually have to have um, you have to so have what he means by that guys is an XLR it's a round circle plug all right guys so now inside. we are using the so to not use that you will need like a, a, a separate amp or a separate uh, mic source to right capture it because no most computers don't have that so plug and one of the coolest things is it does come with everything you need to get going except for your audio interface but the fact that it comes with the pop filter it comes with the wind sock it comes with everything you need to get going right out of the box. It's crazy. I mean, this is the best quality I've seen from Toner. They make they make quality products in general. And I was actually really surprised with the quality of this microphone. Hey, I'm actually going to leave morning. it the way it's set up now. And I'm yes, using Justin video is here for right now. right now, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, like <laughs> he has a long day ahead of him. TC20 microphone, XLR microphone. It sounds so good. I'm going to switch back over to the main screen and my Yeti X now. And you guys might actually hear a downgrade in quality, which is absolutely crazy to me. All right, guys. And now we are back with the Yeti X on my main screen. So, yeah, like I said, guys, that is the Tonor TC20. It sounds... Yeah, Man, tax full of sounds. I didn't oh know boy. Honor made an I see 10 to 11 hours Luckily, in front of you, in front of a computer, so yelling it. Send it to me, and I wouldn't have been able receipts. to really test it for you guys. You get all of that. So if you guys have been looking to get your. Really? You think um, you can do it in five to six? Set up for your Zoom calls, if you work from home, <laughs> if you guys game, if you guys make product uh, videos, content, anything. It'd like take that, me two days, three days, maybe four. Honor. So that is the Toner TC20, guys. You guys have seen me cover a lot of Toner products, and I can contest. Toner makes some very, very quality products that worked very well at a decently fair price. I mean, I personally use a Blue Yeti X Pro at most times, but the toners actually work well. If you have any questions, please ask. I will answer. Now, we're going to move over to the top pin cordless stick vacuum, guys. I actually use this thing daily. I love this vacuum. It actually has taken over for my Dyson. Uh, my Dyson is sat in my closet since I've gotten this vacuum and I have not touched it. Honestly, been thinking about throwing the Dyson away or just giving it away to somebody, I don't know. So, it is a very, very cool product. And as you guys see in this video, you'll see it actually break down very small. James here from Dragon Ball. James, my final thoughts and review of the Top Pin S2 stick vacuum. And as you guys can see, I have this in short mode. Because I was getting into a little hard, uh, hard places that I didn't really need the big stick. Now, my first thought is the battery life. As I'm getting around about 28 minutes, you know, that's about average from what they say on a full charge, 28 to 30 minutes. So that's pretty decent. I'm getting, a, you know, about 28 minutes on a full charge, which is great. The one thing I've noticed is, is I've used my other house vacuum before I use this. And I noticed that this is picking up stuff that the other house vacuum... Was not sad. Up. My Dyson's not picked so up that stuff. This is was great for what I was thinking. The amount of money I spent on a Dyson and this out works it. Cleaning it out is very easy. You have several filters you can clean. You know, you quick trap. It's it pops just open sad. Down here and pops open and it comes out. So you guys can see it's a little dirty because I've been using it. Easy to pop apart if you guys want to take the vacuum. But let me show you guys this. This actually has a motorized motorized brush. So it still motorizes like a regular vacuum, which is really, really great. Now, if your hair gets caught up here, let me show you guys something that it actually comes with. It comes with an actual uh, scraper for the teeth, and it cuts the hair out. I love that option. Now, I didn't, I haven't used it. I put it back in the bag so I don't lose it, which is great. Multi-speed, which, you know, you turn it on, hit the multi-speed. Now, it is dual speed, guys, so you have low than high, and when it goes in high, it actually works a lot better. You can take it apart, and you pretty much can make it any type of vacuum that you really need. If you just need a little quick pick-me-up in a little area, you got that. If you need a little scrub brush for, like, your carpet in your car, or, you know, a little hard-to-reach faucets, they give you that, too. So we won't bore you with the whole thing, but we'll do a little jazz spill, you know, spiel. This Top Pin S3 stick vacuum is just primo. I've actually been using this ever since I've gotten it. 
And like I said, I have not picked up my Dyson since because this picks up so much more than my Dyson, which is just crazy because Dyson's just known for quality. But, you know, when you find something that works better, you actually stick with it. And I have. I've used this clean to my couch. I've used it to clean uh, all of our heater vents. I've used it to clean out my car. Uh, if you guys live in New England, you know about road, the salt and trying to clean your car. I've used it to do that. I have no problems. Cleaning the filters works great. Emptying the little tray works good. Now, the only downside is, is it is rechargeable, so you only have 30 minutes of battery life. Would have loved to have seen a second battery maybe, uh, just depending on how much you use it. But by luck, 30-minute battery will actually clean my whole house with no issues. If you guys are looking for a nice little stick vacuum at a very decently priced, I do suggest the Top Pin S3. Good morning, Margaret. Uh, we are not doing gift cards on Saturday stream. No, it's a short stream. We're not, yeah, we're not doing it today. Uh, and, unless Justin says otherwise, but usually no. Now we're going to move over, guys, over to the canvas backpack. And I believe that, yeah. Yeah, so they, this is like a short one. So this yeah, I didn't set up for it either. Uh, canvas backpack. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It's uh, kind of why I did the extra yesterday. So I did the two gift cards plus uh, merch yesterday. Um, I'm just straight out. It feels really nice. Yeah, so that's normally what we do. We normally go into our co-op afterwards, and then we do like uh, stuff over there. But he has taxes to do uh, to pay all my bills. I mean, what? Yeah. But if you guys stick around for tomorrow, all kinds of giveaways. Like a solid five to six inches of space. Um, that you have in there and then it also has two uh, compartments on the side uh, where you can put um, yuck what what yuck bottles or uh, drinks you might have what I miss it also has this cool little nifty um, USB charging port that it has on the side um, as for the main compartments um, it has one main compartment here um, and as you can see there's a lot of space in there and then it has a zip part in there that is also about the length of my hand as you can see right here um, and then there's another spot um, in the back the last compartment um, I which is probably good for like a wasn't tapping it has like a little sleeve that's built in you can see here um, where you would put um, you know your laptop or something and then, um, like as I said before, this. Why is my noise canceling not working? Well? Phone and have a little charge going. Um, I think somebody's uh, knocking next has a door. Over here for the function. You're hearing my neighbors. Like so as you can but see. But why is it not? Um, here's the little cord, uh, for the actual USB. Yeah, it should be. Uh, noise canceling is not working. That's weird. Bank, um, and then it Somebody said that yesterday. Storage compartment right here. Yeah, it's Fairly neighbor here. kids, man. Um, but hey, we're kids. Right here. I'll zip it up so you can kind of see. Um, <laughs> I'll have to check the software out later. Um, I'm so wondering yeah, it why it's there. picking charge, stuff up. Connected to a power bank so that you can charge um, your wireless devices. It's go. possible. Um, should you need be, it just fits straight. That's what I deal with daily, here, trying to record thing, videos. Part, um, yep. You know, will go inside of this little black bracket. Yeah, um, it's still sure it before it never properly, picked it up, and so I don't know. Ever since I updated the other day, it started changing stuff. Come loose. Um, but yeah, no, this backpack is really nice. Um, it feels really good. Like it feels soft to the touch, and that's something that I really um, appreciate and enjoy. And it just looks cool. The aesthetic is very simple. Yeah, there was a Logitech and update, and ever since that update, it's like acting weird. And everything. So if you're looking for a nice little backpack, because um, I can actually see it picking up the squeak of, of my chair also. Um, definitely check out this uh, Madoker uh, vintage canvas backpack. Cool little backpack if you guys need a backpack. Now we're going to move over to the Tozo W1 wireless charger. I actually did this charger. I had fun with this charger. And now we're not really going to show a video. I'm going to go to the actual page of it actually and kind of talk about this. Go over here and talk about this. If you guys need a wireless charger at multiple colors at a decent cheaply price, this is the product for you. As you guys can see on this page, the Tozo T or the Tozo W1 wireless charger 
is very, very thin. Now, it is aluminum style aviation metal, but it does have like, I want to call it almost like a glass top. This thing is so thin, it's crazy, and it works so well. It's just phenomenal. It's compatible with a lot of devices, and you guys will see like a list of devices right here, all the way from iPhones to Samsungs and all of that. Now, the one thing I will tell you is if you have a phone case, make sure it is compatible with wireless charging. Now, my case is actually good enough to charge on a charging device, but this thing is like literally, I think it's like five millimeters thick, this wireless charger. The one thing I will suggest is, guys, make sure you put it in a safe place because somebody may mistake it as a coaster for a cup. Now, if you get it wet, of course, it's going to be, you know, it's going to break. So just warning you guys there. Now, it is actually a very fast charging capable. It does charge at a decent speed uh, for anything you guys need. Highly recommend it. I mean, for $11, if you need a wireless charger, great little option. And if you guys know Tozo products, Tozo makes some very decent products. Now, it looks like we have one more product left, guys, and that is a dual monitor bracket stand. Uh, actually, we have two, but why is it not showing in my th carousel? Yeah, it's not showing the blanket in my carousel. I may have to back out. And then again, why is this just going to this and not actually showing me the page? Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just go back and return. Maybe it should pop up now. We'll see. Nope. All right, you'll probably have to swap it for me. Now, this is the Hanu, uh, Hanu dual monitor stand, guys. This can uh, pretty much hold anything from 17 to 27 inch dual monitors. This arm holds 4.4 pounds all the way up to 14 pounds. It will hold dual monitors. It will articulate. It will actually work with curved monitors, as you guys see. This is what they call, uh, I want to say, like Visa or Versa. Uh, it's like a Visa pattern. So it will work with the 75 by 75 or 100 by 100 uh, X pattern. So you have a bolt in four corners and it will mount that way. It should have multiple uh, things and it, I sh let's see, yeah, it does. So the, you know, the 100 by 100 will be the outside, the 75 by 75 will be the inner ones. Now it has a dual clamp system. The clamping, as you guys can see, can actually open quite wide and change. Now, as you guys see, the articulate over here will move all the way 180 degrees and swivel. You have more arms and adjustments. Now, what I want to know is, and let's find it. We might have to go down here. Let's find this. What is the gap opening? I'm trying to find the gap opening. Uh, do you see the gap opening for this, for the actual bracket, the mounting bracket? That's my question. How thick is the opening? It can go up to 3.7 inches, guys. So that's actually a very thick gap opening for a desk. If you have a wide desk, this will actually clamp on. That's actually really cool. I uh, probably was, uh, maybe, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> If you guys are looking for a nice monitor, this is a monitor bracket or stand. This is actually a very cool option. I kind of like this. Now, I don't know if I could use it in my own thing. Yeah, that it, that's what I was looking for the gap for. I was like, I saw how wide it was, and I was wondering how much it opened. And that's really cool that it opens up to that. Uh, it is a gas spring also. Wow, hey, that's cool, gas spring. I uh, did not see that. I don't want to know. <laughs> really? All right. Hey, Justin, you got that? All right, guys, we're going to move on to the last product. The last product is this very cool fuzzy fall fur pet bed. Now, if you guys know BedSure, we love a BedSure product around here. Hi guys, it's Brittany. Today I'm coming to you with another BedSure product. This is- I apologize everybody watching. Pet bed. Don't know um, why people gotta do that. It makes no sense. So you can pick 
whatever suits your needs. Right here I have Little Miss Pickles and she's currently testing out the bed for me. She's very happy in it. This is a size small. She's five pounds, so it's a little bit on the big side for her. But this bed does not disappoint, as does any bed share product. This is really comfy. It's got this faux soft yeah, fabric. Yeah, always. It's hard it's to all good. To what it I just be, roll with it. But it doesn't shed at all, <laughs> so it's not coming off on my dress or on my couch. Well, for anybody um, else in chat, we truly apologize that people got to do that. Unfortunately, it's just the name of the game. Well. We always get one out there. there. It's got those non-slip dots on it. It's super padded. It's got this really nice circle design to it. So your pet can curl up in it and get super comfy. The padding's great on the bottom of it as well. And like I said, she just kind of cuddles down into there. This would be perfect for really any pet, whether it's a cat or a dog. Um, so it, it would just make a great addition to any home to keep your pet comfy and cozy. Again, that was the bed share <laughs> comfy pet pet bed. Thanks yeah, guys. That'd be awesome. So that is the last product guys. That is from bed share. It is a very awesome product. If you guys have ever seen bed share products, nice quality. I actually have bed share stuff laying around here. I have a faux fur blanket right there. I have another blankie over there that I use. Uh, I just grab at night and I'll fall asleep on the couch when I just want to sleep on the couch. I highly recommend bed share products and you know, it's just one of those things. Ah, uh, yeah, so those are actually the muleys and the gold one is the muley also. So the gold and blue actually match the curtains. My wife was actually I uh, liked how they matched the curtains, so I got to keep the, the gold ones on the, the couch. I, w I didn't think it was going to happen. If you guys look over at the curtains, they're a very cool blackout golden fan leaf with royal blue. And the blue and gold, she just loved it. Ah, Candy came in right at the end. Everybody run candies here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I have some green ones also somewhere in the closet. Uh, so, guys, anyways, like I said, just, a, you know, a short stream on Saturday, of course. We usually roll, in, roll into co-op gaming. We're not doing that today, unfortunately. Justin has taxes to do. So, we both agreed that we both could, you know, do, have some time off. So, yeah, um... Yeah, I, I, dude, there's all so much product laying here. It's just crazy. Uh, he has got uh, hours of prawn, hours of taxes to do. I have a lot of product that hopefully I can get to and get done. Um, I'm kind of tired. Last night kind of uh, wore me out a little. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Again, guys, uh, Justin and them will be back tomorrow, of course, for their daily stream. So don't miss that. Uh, if you guys need the links, we are doing the giveaways, of course. We have the Xbox giveaway going on. We have the EF Echo Flow Mini going on. We also have the OBSBOT giveaway going on. So make sure to enter that. And everybody that followed us, all the new followers today and all of our old followers we appreciate you all because we couldn't do what we do without you guys. It makes it makes all this possible. So I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a great end to your weekend. And you know, guys, we truly appreciate it all. <laughs> there you go. And there's all of our giveaways, guys. Make sure to enter those. Those links are active. Those links will work. I will wait a few minutes so you guys can copy those links while we can uh, before I go. I don't want to ruin chat while those links are just posted. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything or if you guys have products that you guys want seen by us done, please let us know. We truly appreciate it. Um, we are very active on our Facebook pages. We are very active on our Discord pages. If you guys ever need to get a hold of us or have questions about products, you know, we're always welcome to uh, chatting with you guys. So now that that little spiel's gone, I'm going to actually say goodbye, happy weekend, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to go.
take a siesta over there on the couch and then get to work. <laughs> ah, breakfast. Dude, I haven't even eaten yet. I'm starving. Oh, food. Do I nap or do I eat? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys have a good one see you guys all later